So you're probably familiar with density. Density is the mass divided by the volume. I can write density as a capital D, and then this would equal the mass M over the volume V. Now, you can also think of density as a little bit of mass over a little bit of volume. Because if I have a uniform object, the density of the whole object is going to be the same as the density of a little chunk of that object. And we're going to use this idea to solve problems in electricity and magnetism. So now I want to talk about charge density. First, I'm going to talk about linear charge density. And that's lambda, and that's going to be charge over length. Charge is Q, length is L. Or we could think of it as a little bit of charge over a little bit of length. The linear charge density has units of coulombs per meter, charge over a length. So if I have a line of charge of length A and total charge Q, lambda, the linear charge density, could be written as Q over A, or dQ over dL, a little bit of charge over a little bit of the length. Surface charge density works the same way. Sigma is surface charge density. Instead of Q over L, it's going to be Q over A, the area. Or dQ over dA, a little bit of charge over a little bit of the area. Surface charge density has units of coulombs per meter squared. And if I had, say, a square surface where the square had a side of length L and total charge Q, then sigma could be Q over L squared or dQ over dA. Finally, I have volume charge density. So again, works the same way. Rho is going to be volume charge density, and that's Q over V now for volume or dq over dv, a little bit of charge over a little bit of the volume. And the volume charge density has units of coulombs per meter cubed. So imagine I have a sphere of radius r and total charge q. Then rho could be q over 4 thirds pi r cubed. That's the volume of a sphere. Which could also be dq over dv, a little bit of the charge over a little bit of the volume. 